Hi there, I'm Jay from Black Magic Design, and today we're going to be talking about Stinger transitions that can be used on ATEMs like this one here, the ATEM Television Studio HD8 ISO. So, what is a Stinger transition? Well, a Stinger transition is a transition between one shot to another shot, but using a graphic to cover that transition. So, Let's have a look at our example graphics that come with ATEM Software Control, and I'll show you how we can utilize them. In the Applications folder of this Mac, I have the Blackmagic ATEM Switches folder, which contains the Example Graphics folder. Here at the top, we have the Animated Examples. The second one down is a Stinger example. Within this folder, we have all the PNGs that make up the Example Stinger. So over here in ATEM Software Control, I need to go to my media pool. You can see here in my media pool, I have three stills already. But for a Stinger transition, I need a graphic that has some transparency in it that covers the screen fully so that we can have that transition happen in the background. So we're going to import our PNG files from the example graphics here in the local libraries. Within the local libraries, I can access my Macintosh HD, go to the Applications folder, Go to the ATEM Switches folder, which again contains the example graphics, the animated graphics, the Stinger example, and here on the left hand side are all those PNGs. I can select the PNGs and drag and drop those onto my clip one holding graphic here. So now the clip has been loaded into my media pool, but it hasn't been assigned to any of my media players. So let's drag it from here and assign it to media player one. Now, if I go back to the switcher tab, you can see here over in the palettes that I have a transitions section. Now within that transition section, I can change the way different transitions in the ATEM work. But today we're gonna to be looking at the Stinger transition. So for the source, of the graphic for the Stinger transition, I have the choice of my two media players. And as I put the graphic into media player one, let's select media player one. It also shows the clip duration of two seconds and 23 frames. The trigger point, which is the point at which source one switches to source two. And ideally that's at a point where the graphic fully covers the screen. So right here, it is at one second and nine frames. The mix rate, that is how quickly it mixes between source one and source two. You see here, I have a five frame fade. And here we have pre-roll, which is a section where the graphic is playing just before it is cut to um, and shown on screen. Right now, this is set to two frames that just allows the graphic to get playing before we cut to it. So now we have that set. I can set my transition style to Stinger. And if I click auto here, you'll see that I get a stinger in between these two camera angles. And if I click auto again, you'll see that it transitions back to this piano player, but we didn't see the exact cut moment because that happens whilst the graphic is fully covering the screen. And that's how we can set up a stinger transition here on the ATEM. Stinger transitions are often used in newscasting and other live events and really add a feel of professionality to a broadcast. If you'd like to know any more about Black Magic Design products, visit blackmagicdesign.com. Thank you for watching.